What's going on guys? So I'm gonna start a mini series, series talking about different um, factors, different topics in health and performance that can help you um, a ton, okay? So whether you're just trying to reduce stress or whether you're trying to get a PR, um, this is gonna help you. So really overlook topics. Um, and today we're talking about breath. So again, part one of a part, a three part series. Um, recently I went to the Art of Breath clinic down in Santa Monica led by Rob Wilson and Brian McKenzie. Um, if you want to take a deeper dive um, than I present to you, look into them. And also The Oxygen Advantage is a great book that I've read um, a couple years ago. I need to get back to, but a wealth of knowledge in there. Now, why is breath important? Um, again, if you're constantly stressed, if you have panic attacks, if you have anxiety, um, the breath is a great way you can actually control your state. If you control your state, you can control your emotions, okay? Um, again, on the, on the flip side, for performance, you know, a couple seconds is all the difference, you know, that you need from first to second place or, you know, to win or whatever, whatever sport you're playing in. It makes a big difference. So how efficiently you're using your breath. Um, and today we're talking about different types of breathing, nasal, mouth breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, um, and we're also going to talk about the physiology a little bit of your mouth and your nose. Okay, so your nose is meant for breathing. Your mouth is meant for eating. Okay, your mouth. We have teeth. Obviously, that's to chew, chew food. At the same time, we have saliva, which has enzymes in it. So you have salivary amylase to break down carbs, um, salivary lipase to break down fat. So digestion actually starts as soon as you put food in your mouth. Um, not when it gets to your stomach. And actually, you can make the case that it starts before you put food in your mouth, so that's why, you know, you see a juicy burger, you start to salivate. Um, that's called the cephalic phase of digestion, but I digress. Um, the point is your mouth is meant to primarily eat. Now, your nose is meant to breathe, and here's why. We have nose hairs, right? Those are part of our immune system. It's meant to trap particles that aren't supposed to be in our body. Uh, we also have mucus that's again to trap um, different particles dust pollen whatever so if you ever you know went through a dusty place you sneeze you see all the dust in there right that's your immune system doing its job so that's a part one part two of the nose physiology is um, receptors in your capillaries in your nose so capillaries are, are small blood vessels and we have nitric oxide receptors there so when oxygen um, interacts with those, you release nitric oxide, which expands those blood vessels. It causes dilation. So that increases blood flow. Okay, so more blood flow, that means more oxygen delivery to wherever it needs to go. Now, you might be thinking, well, I can breathe more through my nose, or sorry, through my mouth, so I can get more oxygen, right? So why would I breathe through my nose? Well, that's actually incorrect. You get the same amount of oxygen through your nose, as you do through your mouth. Now the difference is you're taking in a smaller volume through your nose than you are through your mouth. But what that also means is that it's more efficient, right? If you're getting, you know, let's say 50 uh, molecules of oxygen through your nose out of 100, um, as opposed to 50 molecules of oxygen out of 1,000 through your mouth, right? You can see which one is more efficient. Um, the difference is that you're getting rid of more carbon dioxide through your mouth. And that's actually not necessarily a good thing. I'm gonna get into that more next time, but I'm just gonna finish off with, again, nasal breathing, mouth breathing, and uh, diaphragmatic breathing. So nasal breathing, uh, another benefit of that is down-regulating, reducing stress. Um, that activates your, your parasympathetic, uh, parasympathetic nervous system. It's a mouthful, I know. So PNS. Same thing with diaphragmatic breathing right there. PN, increased PNS um, activation. So again, um, usually when you do yoga, they talk about belly breathing. So that's parasympathetic. Um, that's breathing to your stomach, activating your diaphragm. That's one of your main breathing muscles. We don't really use it often. We usually breathe in through our mouth, into our chest. Chest breathing is more sympathetic or SNS, sympathetic nervous system. So that's more of a stressed out state um, so just be conscious of, that, conscious of that when you're going about your day, you know, are you breathing through your nose when you're in traffic or are you just huffing and puffing, you know, uh, stressed out. 
So those are some, that's just a, a little intro into breathing. And again, next time we'll get into more of O2 and CO2 levels and why that's important.